Welcome back, everybody. Who is ready to play some Pokemon? Today on the, on the show, we're gonna try to take down Team Rocket, aka the evil guys in black. They own the game corner, I suppose, probably legally, but they also have illegal operations underneath it. In order to access that, you have to press a, a button on the back of the poster, or behind the poster, I suppose. And this guy won't let us. Except he's actually really, really weak, and he will let us, because his Pokemon aren't that strong. They're not good enough to beat us. I believe the, the, the Team Rocket members below us are stronger than this. At least I hope so. These are two level 20 Pokemon. They're not a challenge. I have boxed Pokemon that are stronger than this. Also, come on, game. You're gonna let him live with, like, one health? He had so little health that that leech life didn't even move the bar. He did one damage to me. Come on, game. Dang, indeed. Yeah, you better go down those stairs that you didn't actually open up. I'm not sure how he gets downstairs because he didn't press the button. Oh well. So, now we've got to Team Rocket's base. We're gonna zoom through this because it's... It's not that much fun. None of the dungeons, and I'm counting this as a dungeon, by the way, in this game are that good. This is something I'm realizing as I'm replaying this game. It's not really that good of a game. It's kind of fun, especially in a nostalgic sense, but in terms of, like, actually fun, eh. The give or take, honestly. There's a gate there, that's how we exit this, this area. We, uh... Yeah, we can t there's an elevator below it. We'll take the elevator back up here when we're done. With the boss. And I mean that uh, in the most literal sense, is the boss of Team Rocket is here. We are going to fight him. If you don't know who that is, congratulations on never having played this or any other Gen 1 Pokemon game. Or watched the anime. Or just experienced pop culture. At like any point in the last 20 years. How old are these games now? I think they're over 20 years old, aren't they? Like, Red and Blue came out in 98, I think. I assume. So I played these games when I was like 6, 5. I don't know if I got them when, it, when they first came out or if I waited a year or two. But I got them when I was pretty young. Like, I'm actually surprised I was able to do as well as I did with them. Considering I was... Very, a, a pretty young child. But they were my jam. I mean, I started playing video games. My first two video games that I remember were Lemmings, which is a puzzle game of sorts, and Broken Sword. I don't know if any of you have played Broken Sword, but it's like a, a point and click adventure game, but it's like. It's not easy. Not for a, a very young child. This dungeon does have a maze. It's not much of a maze, but these, uh, these spinny things sometimes go in places that you're not quite sure where they are going. And then you have to navigate back and not go on the wrong one, or else you, uh, you wind, back, wind up back at the start. It's not really a challenge, but I could see how it could be if you don't know how directions work. I also kind of remember where they go. I just want to get all the items. That is the only reason I'm doing this, and not because I messed up at all. No, but seriously, I wanted the items. Unfortunately, just to get that super potion, we had to go, like, almost all the way back to the start. It's unfortunate. Especially because, like, we don't really need super potions. We don't really heal all that much. 
I probably should heal more, but I just I don't feel the need to. Poke centers are usually just so close. So here's the elevator, but it doesn't work. We need a key for the elevator. Where are we gonna get that key? Well, uh, one of the rockets drops it. We just have to find the right one. They changed that up a little bit in the new Let's Go games. If I remember correctly for this dungeon, I'm pretty sure you have to, like, control Pikachu on a... on a an event or something in order to find the, the key. Maybe you get trapped in a room and have to do that. I can't remember exactly, but they, they do change things up a little bit in those games. They're neat. They're neat games. I may one day play them on the channel as well. Well, the, the Pikachu version is the one I own, so... That would be the one. I finally got a, a, a capture card for HD stuffs as well, so I can finally actually play those. That'll be nice. Uh, I mostly got it for PlayStation 3 content, and only to then find out that PlayStation 3 content has uh, protections. Uh, HDCP, I think it's called, where it won't capture. It's, it's protected content, so you have to jump through several hoops in order to, to access that content. I have mostly figured out how that's going to work. I, I got the PS3 capturing, so that's, uh, that's a good step, that's a step in the right direction. I don't know which PS3 game I'm going to play first. It'll probably be one that I've played before. Like, I'm thinking WET, which is, uh, it stands for WETWORKS. It's a, it's a third-person shooter, kind of. I think it's also kind of like one of those try to rack up as many points as you can types of games. With combos and, and whatnot. If I remember correctly, it's been a long time since I played that game. I've actually got a review up on... Uh, game facts. I, I played that, I think it was like 2012, 2013, somewhere in there. And I wrote a review on it. I don't remember if the review is any good. Probably not. But that's still online. You can still go read that if you really wanted to. I don't know why you'd want to, but that option is yours. The long and short of it is that I think the game is pretty good, and I would like to play it again. And this is an excuse to play it again. And uh, it's one that I actually beat, and that makes me happy. I think I played it on probably the easiest difficulty. That is how I used to play games, how I in part still play games, if I'm being completely honest. But I'll probably play it on normal. I, I managed to beat Devil May Cry on normal. It took a long time. Way more deaths than I'm proud to admit. But I did it. I also finally uh, procured a copy of Nier for the PlayStation 3, which is a semi-rare game at this point, even though I think it, sell it sold pretty well. And I managed to find one in the wild, I didn't even have to go online for it, I actually found just a copy of it. And I want to play that because I'm very curious ab about uh, Nier Automata. Or Automata. I think it's Automata, but I'm not I'm not sure. I wanna play that game. And I feel like I should play its predecessor first. As I am want to do. But I also wanted the PS3 working so I could play like HD versions of Ratchet and Clank. Cause I really like the Ratchet and Clank games. It's been a long time since I played the PS2 versions. Uh, I played the Future series on PS3 when it came out, and I recently-ish played the PS4 remake of it. Those are good games. They're a little repetitive, but they're good games. 
and I didn't even know I, I was going to play the PS2 game, and then I found out that there was a PS3 HD version of it, which I didn't even know existed. So I need to get a copy of that first, and then uh, hopefully play that. Someday. There's a ton of games to play. If this, if, if I don't get bored of this thing, uh, I'm just going to be playing games forever, and I will never run out of games. But we have run out of time on this episode, so I will see you next time where we take down the boss of Team Rocket.